Okay, for my Florida people, my South Florida people, you want to talk about arcades? Uh-huh. Who knows where the f- uh, the festival f- is? It the festival flea market. I lived in the festival. The flea festival market. flea market had one of the be- yo. I probably walked past you in there a few times. That was my, my dad used one. to take us there. It had a small theater on one end, and then aisles of bullshit. First of all, that's where I saw the Power Rangers movie. Mm-hmm. Me and my friends would get dropped off at the festival flea market and be in that arcade all day on five dollars. They had like the best food in their fucking food court of Miami subs and so McDonald's, me, and, me and my Subway. friends, me and my friends would hit the festival flea market we would hit the arcade we would play then we would like all right yo let's walk around then we would walk around and that's where i first bought my uh first pack of 1992 marvel masterpieces they had a little comic booth there that shit was the best shit they ever, th- some booth like because it's it's like one of those places i mean it's a flea market you buy your spot and you can sell basically whatever the fuck you want out of it you, have, you know they always have those you it's have, an indoor flea market they have those um like, they automatically have to have these stores because every flea market has it. Like, you know the one with all the underwear in it? Like, yeah. the female underwear. It's like mad rug like, stores. Like, first of all, this shit is made with garbage materials. Any girl who puts this on is going to get an infection. So they have those. The fucking gold teeth kiosks where you can get gold teeth done. Stereos. The jewelry. The swap shot was there. The swap shot was, like, way more, like, run down compared to the festival. The festival flea market was nice. Fee with the shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> Atlantis Roller Rink in um, West Palm Beach. Yes, my do- I used to take my kids there on school trips and shit. But I fucked with the palace in Lake Lake Worth. Yo, the Lake festival, Lake the festival flea market is when I first saw Mortal Kombat three come out. That's where I pr- first played Virtual Fighter two. That was the shit. And they had the ski ball. Yo, and they had the trick where you could like pull. If you win a ticket at the ski ball and you pulled it a certain way, you could kind of get that shit. First of all. Me and my brother, I realize now, looking back on our childhood, we were, like, kind of bad kids. Yeah, we were bad kids. We definitely always... That's where the PS2 story comes into play. Keep, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good story. That should be just for the members, maybe. That's a good story. That's a funny story. It kind of makes us make me, makes me look like an asshole, though. Oh, you are an asshole. <laughs> it doesn't have to make yeah, you when look you were like a kid, you are. It was every man for themselves, man. You got, a, you got what you can get. First of all, our generation, we're all latchkey kids. What does that mean? Uh, our parents work. We come. We, you let yeah. yourself into school. You go yes. and walk to the bus stop by yourself. That type of shit. Yo, I rode the bus everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Yo, we was we rode our bike to the festival flea market, and that shit wasn't that close. Yeah. Well, first of all, when, when my we, my dad lived in Crystal Lake in Pompano, and we would freaking go all the way to Brandsmart. In fucking Deerfield on bikes and rollerblades through fucking Broward traffic. So dangerous. Well, first of all, me and my friends would walk to the Deerfield Mall, which is an outdoor mall. <laughs> and we would literally just go into every store. We didn't have a... Do- we had like $2. stores, <laughs> movie theaters, toys, CC's, uh, TJ Maxx, we, we would get tired. Sports Authority. We would get tired and hot. We'd be like, right, let's go to Office Max and go sit on all the reclining chairs that they would just have like already assembled. And the people would keep, we would get kicked out of every store in the Deerfield Mall, and that was our Saturday. Like, we would only eat Taco Bell. We would get like two hard shell tacos. All right, we got two dollars each. All right, bomb. We'll Books a million was across the street next to um, McDonald's. Walk around that shit. They had a fucking Michaels right there. Now they have they tore down that whole uh, plaza on um, Powerline and Palmet uh, in Hillsboro, and they built a brand new. TV, Hold on. Uh, Do work, Darkman. Jen, did you have a gold grill in, when you were a teen? First of all, I'm from Do South I need to Florida. Go downstairs? <laughs> I'm from South Florida. I got a Fia Gold Grill right now. She I just got one for Christmas. <laughs> I have eight on the bottom and my canines on top. I had a couple of them, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, you know, I remember one time we went to KB Toys and we bought a box of 94 Marvel Masterpieces. Then we walked to the comic shop and sold it to them for, like, double. And we came up on We We busted a lick on them. And then we were like, all right, boom. Then we went to Kmart and bought boxes of sports cards. And we're like, yo, let's try it again. And then we went to the comic shop and we're like, wait a minute, aren't these the boxes they just sell at Walmart for like 15 bucks? And we were like, oh. Ugh. He knows. <laughs> so then our profits were, were, were crushed in that flip. But.